All right, adventurers, today we're back out at the anvil and we're going to make some ring stock. And I'm too broke right now to order the good stuff online. And I also don't have a rolling mill. So we're going to take this one ounce of fine silver from Engelhard, which is a pretty neat little bar. We're going to heat it up. We're going to use that hammer and we're going to flatten it out just enough to where the detail is gone and the ridge right there is gone. And it looks nice and smooth and pretty so I can make ring bands and backing plate out of it. So we'll show you how to do that. First things first, we got to heat this sucker up. Okay, silver's been heated and quenched with some icy cold water because you can't see it on camera, but I don't know. If you can see my breath, that'll tell you how cold it is out here. So now, sometimes I work with the silver while it is still pretty hot, but in this case right now, since I'm not really trying to shape or move the silver too much, I'm just going to use my hammer while it's cold to just obscure the details of this to just kind of flatten it out and then i may even use my little planishing hammer here to do some detail on that but i think i might need two hands for that we'll see right then so after some repeated heating and cooling cyclings and some vigorous pounding you get what you see there which it, oh, I hate this camera, flattened everything off. So now I'm going to take Yon Planishing Hammer and I'm going to work that a little bit more just to smooth it out. The way it saves me some sandpaper and stuff in the future. But it's looking like it's going to turn into some good ring stock. Well, there you go, everyone. Some nice, reasonably thick silver stock that I may cut a couple of strips out of lengthwise for bands, and the majority of it I'll probably just use for backing plate, and it came out pretty nice. Now, I said I used the planishing hammer on it, and I did, but after one cycle with the planishing hammer, I just reheated it and ran the big hammer over it again, because for just an overall flat surface, the big hammer really did the job. Even though the planishing hammer gave me some nice shiny bits, I needed the, the overall flatness. But as you can see, almost no trace of it once being a little ingot of silver bullion. So if you like that, I'll be doing some more jewelry videos while it's cold. Because I I'm my fingers are still cold from earlier. So please subscribe while you're here everybody, I really appreciate it.